Walk to Moons, Chapter 34, Old Faithful. That day, next day was probably one of the best, and surely the worst, in Grams and Gramps' lives. The whispers woke me early. It was the sixth day, and the next day was my mother's birthday. We had to get out of Wyoming and through Montana. Gramps was already up, but Graham was lying on the bed, staring at the ceiling. Did you ever go to sleep? I asked. No, she said. I didn't feel like sleeping. I can sleep later. And she climbed out of bed. Let's go see that Old Faithful. I have waited my whole entire life to see Old Faithful. You sure got your heart set on that, don't you, you stubborn gooseberry, said Gramps. I sure do, Graham said. We parked the car and walked up a low hill. I was afraid Graham was going to be disappointed because it didn't look like much at first. There was a rope fence around a mound on the side of the hill. The ground was scrabbly dirt and in the center of the rope enclosure about 20 feet away was a hole. Heck, Graham said, can't we get any closer than this? Gramps and I walked over to read a sign about Old Faithful. A park ranger rushed past us yelling, ma'am, ma'am, call dang, Gramps said. Graham was crawling under the rope. The ranger stopped her. Ma'am, there's a reason for that rope, he said. Graham brushed off her dress. Just wanted a better look. Don't worry, the ranger said. You'll get a good look. Please stay behind the rope. The sign said the Old Faithful was due to erupt in 15 minutes. More and more people gathered around the rope. There were people of all ages little babies crying, grannies sitting on folding stools, teenagers plugged into radio headsets, couples smooching. There were people speaking languages other than English. Next to us was a tour group of Italians. Across the way was a group of Germans. Graham tapped her fingers together, getting more and more excited. Is it time? She kept saying. Is it almost time? The crowd became quiet a few minutes before Old Faithful was due to go off. Everyone stared at the hole. Everyone was listening. Is it time? Graham said. There was a faint noise and then a little spit shot out of the hole. The man next to me said, aw, is that all? Another noise, this time a little louder, a grating and crunching sound like walking on gravel. Two fitful spits. Aw, the man said. And then it was like a radiator boiling over the tea kettle, blowing its top. Old Faithful hissed and steamed, and sudden spout of water shot out, maybe three feet high. Oh, the man said, is that all? More steam, boiling and hissing, and a huge jing-bang spray of water surged out, climbing and climbing, and then more and more, until it looked like a whole river of water was shooting straight up into the air. It looks like an upsidey down waterfall, Graham said. All the while, there was a walloping hissing, and I could have sworn the ground rumbled and trembled underneath us. The warm mist blew toward us, and people started backing away. All except Graham. She stood there grinning, tilting her face up into the mist and staring at that fountain of water. Oh, she said, oh, huzza, huzza, and she shouted it into the air and noise. Gramps wasn't watching Old Faithful. He was watching Graham. He put his arms around her and he hugged her. Do you like this old geyser, don't you? He said, oh, Graham said, oh yes, I do. The man next to me was staring open-mouthed at Old Faithful. Lordy, he said, Lordy, that's amazing. Gradually, Old Faithful slowed down. We watched it undo itself and retreat into its hole. We stood there even after everyone else had drifted away. At least Graham sighed and said, okay, let's go. We were inside the car and about to leave when Graham started to cry. Call dang, Graham said, what's the matter? Graham sniffled, nothing. I am so happy that I got to see Old Faithful. Y'all gooseberry, Graham said, and on he we went. We're gonna eat up Montana, Graham said. We're gonna get to the ID Ho border tonight. You watch me, I am putting this pedal to the metal. He stepped on the gas and peeled out of the parking lot. Idy ho, here we come.